Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome to my little corner of the internet. My name is Smay and today as you can tell by the title of this video I'm going to be running you through what I'm getting my son for Christmas this year. It's his first Christmas, he's going to be six and a half months old at Christmas time. Uh, and yeah, I'm just going to jump straight in because I'm doing this while he naps and we don't know how long that is going to last. So my husband Nick and I are starting a new tradition with Finn that is one that actually like neither of us really grew up with. I'll talk a little bit more about other traditions later on. Um, but the tradition that we are starting this year is getting uh, Finn four presents under the category of something he wants, something he needs, something to wear and something to read. I feel like maybe it's just because I've started following a lot more um, like parenting vloggers and parenting uh, influencers but I see this done all the time and I think it's a really cool idea to have those kind of categories of presents and also just stops me from going overboard on buying him presents. So the first thing that I want to show you is actually some little wooden labels. These are from a company called Love From 17. By the way I will leave a link to everything that I can in the description bar uh, down below. Obviously this video is not at all an ad, I'm not cool enough to have like ad or like paid ads in my videos um, but yeah there'll be links to everything down below if you want to go and check it out. Uh, so the first thing are these little gift tags that are reusable from Love From 17. As I said I just think these are really cute and obviously being reusable it will mean that we can use them for many years to come and then from that same company, I don't know how I'm going to show you this because it's um, clear, I might just hold it up on here. Um, I also got Finn a little Christmas bubble um, that just says his name because um, I have an S and an N that I got I think from my Oliver bonus when Nick and I lived in London um, so I really want Finn to have something on the tree as well. Okay so I'm going to start off with the wear present. I resisted the urge and the temptation this year to get Finn a cute like properly Christmas themed outfit because I knew that it's probably something that he's only going to wear you know like a couple times in the lead up to Christmas or on Christmas day if he gets dirty he might not even wear the outfit for um, a full day and I'm trying to be really intentional with my purchases this year um, so I just wanted to like refrain even though it's bloody hard because there's so many cute things out there I wanted to refrain from getting him anything that he probably wouldn't wear that often um, so for his wear present I have found this really adorable little um, romper that is green stripes it's just from cotton on uh, baby it's actually three to six months size but he is what five months right now so I'm filming this video and he's still wearing uh, zero to three so I think this will definitely fit him come Christmas but it's just really cute I got this one and then I also got one that's in like a pinky salmon color um, but I think obviously you know like it's green it will work well for Christmas and then uh, it's something that he can continue to wear after Christmas before Christmas and stuff as well. For the want present, because Finn is so young, it's definitely more of a uh, like what we want to get Finn for Christmas this year and I don't have it with me because uh, we're currently finishing it but Nick and I have been building Finn a little baby abacus. I saw these in a couple of shops, I thought it was really cute. Uh, a present that I guess can grow with him because at the moment it can be something that he uses just for his motor skills to be moving the beads along and then the older he gets he can learn to you know like point out the colors on the abacus and be counting the numbers or like counting on the abacus and things like that. Um, so I do actually have a video that I've been filming that's a tutorial of this and that will be up next week so you can see the final abacus there. I will chuck a photo just of like our inspo pic um, up on the screen now so you can see what that looks like. Um, but yeah, that is what he is getting for his want present. For his need present, uh, I'm just going to chuck in photos of what it looks like. So as you can see, it already came wrapped in tissue paper and I'm not really going to bother to wrap Finn's Christmas presents this year because I don't think he's even going to know like how to unwrap wrapping paper. So uh, a few of his things I'm just going to like put under the tree as they are and then I've bought a few reusable uh, like fabric Christmas bags that I can reuse from like years to come but then I can put some of his presents in them as well so that will just be easy he can just like well I can just open the bag for him and he can pull whatever the thing is out um but I will chuck a photo on the screen of what is in this parcel I have gotten him two different kinds of bibs I've gotten him one silicon bib and one I think it's called like a smock bib from the brand called Petite Eats by the time you're watching this video I think Finn will have like just started eating solids which is both really cool and like really scary at the same time that he's growing up so fast. Um, but yeah, so two of them for his need present. And then for his read present I have gotten him a Harry McClary and Friends Touch and Feel book. If you are not from New Zealand, Harry McClary I feel like is a book that pretty much every New Zealand child has grown up reading um, of some sorts. Harry McClary is this little dog just here and then there is a bunch of different stories um, off the back of Harry McClary as well like him and friends or just like other books um, that kind of have the same like rhyming 
pattern to them in the book. So this book um, isn't technically like the story of Harry McClary, but as you can kind of see, like each of the page that explains the different dogs kind of in the Harry McClary universe has all this like cool touch and feely stuff so that he can go through the book and obviously like you know have like a more of a tactile experience so I thought that would be really cool there's kind of still a bit of rhyming in the words so I think it will still be really fun for him um but he is definitely now just wanting to like touch everything and obviously explore like different textures so I thought that would be a really cool gift. I have also though gotten him quite a few more books so the first two I got from a shop in Wellington which is probably like my favourite independent store, it's called Madame Fancy Pants. If you have followed me for a while you've probably heard me talk about them. Um, but I have gotten him these two books, this one the Jolly Postman's Christmas or the Jolly Christmas Postman. Um, this and just like the normal Jolly Postman non-Christmas version. I think my mum still has them but I just like grew up reading those books, I used to love reading them. If you have never read them before there's like all these different things to do inside the book. I think in this one it has like a little puzzle, there's like Christmas cards and there's just like a lot of things to do. So this is way too old for Finn. I think they say this book is for like, I don't know, five or six years plus. But when I saw this in the store I couldn't resist buying it because as I said it's a book that I grew up loving and reading. So it's probably one that I will read for him and then I might like stash it away and actually gift it to him like in a couple years when he will actually appreciate it. Um, but then I also got him a Peter Rabbit Christmas Wish, which is a book that I never read, but I just thought it was cute and I love rabbits. Um, but this will be like his Christmas Eve book because um, one of the traditions that my family did is that we'd always open a present on Christmas Eve. And I don't know how far I'll continue it because if like when Finn goes up, he might not be super into reading, who knows? But for now at least I want um, his Christmas Eve present if we continue on that tradition to be a book that we can read like on Christmas Eve. In the future it might be like pyjamas or something, I don't know. But yes, yeah, so I've bought this to be his Christmas Eve book. And then the final book I've bought him, I don't know like what present this is gonna fall under. I might just make it from our cat because as you can see it's called My Cat Likes to Hide in Boxes which is another book that I grew up reading. Um, and our cat Soupy does indeed love to hide in boxes. I don't even know why I'm trying to justify it. But yeah, I got on that book as well because I just thought it was really cute. This year for Christmas he is getting this little block trolley that has a bunch of blocks um, that have like letters on them. I think they have like some patterns and stuff on them as well. And then a few numbers. Um, this I think they say is for like 12 months plus. So it's something that he probably won't use like around Christmas time but I think before his first birthday he'll probably really enjoy even just like standing up on this or maybe like uh, using it as like a walking aid because already his favorite thing to do is stand. He will like stand up every chance he gets if we try and make him like sit down or practice sitting unaided he just like straightens out his legs and his back and he just wants to stand up so I just thought that would be a cute gift even if it's not like fully age appropriate uh, right now I think in the next six months before his birthday it will be. And then the final bits are for his stockings. So stockings are something that my family still actually do. When my sister and I uh, were old enough, shall we say, just in case there's young people watching this video, um, we kind of came to the decision that my parents would do a stocking for my sister and I, and my sister and I would do a stocking for my parents, that we could still kind of like keep that um, you know, part of Christmas, part of the presents going. Uh, and there were certain things that we'd always get in our stockings. So there'd always be an orange at the bottom of the stocking. I'd always have a magazine in my stocking. And then kind of the older I got, the more practical the presents got. You know, when you're younger, like you just want, you know, like toys and chocolate and like fun things. But then as soon as you get old enough, like practical presents like more socks or maybe like some more toothpaste or supermarket vouchers or things like that actually become like way more useful. When Finn is old enough definitely some of those stocking traditions I will continue on with him. Um, obviously right now he's really young so I haven't got very many presents for his stocking uh, which is fine because he only has a pretty small stocking this year. So this is one that my mum got Finn um, last Christmas and like the post Christmas sale because we told my parents and Nick's family uh, that we were pregnant at Christmas time. So my mum bought this because we didn't yet know if we were having a boy or a girl. We decided to um, find out the baby's sex when they were born. So this just says my baby's first Christmas. Um, but my mum is in the process of making Finn a stocking that looks kind of like this. This is the stocking that she made me uh, when I was young. So I think I've had the stocking my entire life. Nick also has one, uh, obviously has his name on it, but it looks like this as well. So it will be pretty cute um, that we'll all have kind of like matching stockings. Um, and then I've just gotten like two lots of presents for his stocking. Because as I said, he's pretty young. He doesn't really need much. Um, 
but the things that I've gotten him, first of all these are some teethers that you can put in the fridge so they go cool. I've got like water liquid um, on the inside of them and then when they are teething it just helps them because you know it's kind of like something cool almost like a chilli ice pack uh, on their teeth to help with that. So I don't know if he's teething yet, I don't think he is but he definitely has days where he's like uh, you can tell that his gums are pretty sore so I think it's just the teeth like moving around in his gums um, but hopefully he doesn't need these before Christmas if so we're just gonna have to rip into it early but I got him that and then the other thing I got him which I will take out of the packet much like I will the teethers um, is this multi ball set which just has six balls in it that are all different textures and colors um, and just for him to explore I think it's good motor skills for him right my camera ran out of battery just as Finn was waking up so apologies for um, the change in camera the change in setting and everything um, but I think that is all I wanted to show you I really love watching gift guide videos even if it's for like I don't know babies before I was even pregnant I just loved watching gifts of like what people are getting each other for Christmas so I hope you enjoyed watching this video I hope if you were watching it for ideas it was useful um, and yeah I know Christmas is going to be pretty different for a lot of different reasons for I'd say like the majority of the world um, or people who celebrate Christmas this year so whatever you're doing uh, however you are celebrating if you are celebrating I hope um, you still manage to have a really great Christmas I will well I do plan on doing like uh, vlogs in the lead up to Christmas um, but if this is the only video of mine you're gonna watch for a while then yeah I hope you have um, a really lovely festive season uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and maybe leave me a comment letting me know some of the presents you're getting for people this year if you are doing presents uh, and yeah I'll see you all later on bye